Hey Summers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make 2. We got another request from a neighbor to visit one of his houses, and this is Carlos's town. This is the house that he invited us to, and it's on the Mystery Island next to the fairgrounds carnival. Wasn't that what it was called? It's been so long I, since we've I visited it. Trust your judgment. In this monument as well. The, the turtle giant monument. Turtle, yeah. So let's take a look. So this house is really cool, we thought. It's built on a teen idol lot, which you can tell from the fence. The Teen Idol Mansion is one of the few houses in the game that keeps its fence when you build it on the island. Most houses that you buy in the game will lose that fence, but this is one of the few that keeps it. That is a good piece of trivia. Yep. And so that makes for a really cool grounds for the house. And this house is built on three stories, so I'm just going to give an overview of the first story. And then... oops. Here's an overview of the second story, and we'll walk you through all of them one by one. So there you go. Starting on the bottom, we come into this entryway here with this beautiful spiral staircase. And on either side of the entryway are these, I'm gonna call them galleries because they've got paintings along each wall. Yeah, there's, they don't lead anywhere. They don't have doors to anything other than the, the next room. Yeah, they're self-contained, so... Yeah, so I think they are just, yeah, places to walk and enjoy the paintings. Yeah. There's a coat of arms, I think, at each side as well. Yes. Which made us think maybe this is less of a house and more of a palace. Yeah, I definitely think this is this could definitely be a palace because you'll, as you'll see as we go through, a lot of the decorations are very formal and kind of almost royalty oriented. So anyway, as we walk through the entryway with a staircase, you see this sitting area with a very lovely L-shaped sofa and this coffee table. Through there, a long and very formal dining room. Yeah, is this the biggest dining table you can get in the game? Probably is, yeah, because it seats, seats 10. ten. Yeah, And it has the fancy fireplace over here. White marble fireplace. Yeah, I, I like that the chairs do match the table very well. Yeah, these and are social like, point yeah. chairs, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So then through here on the right is the kitchen. Very nice. It's got the counters all around and an island as well. Through here, you get a bathroom and a bedroom here. Yeah, a very small bedroom down. Well, there's not. Yeah, this is a very small bedroom, but they've still managed to fit in a wardrobe and a couple of chairs. And I think the couple of chairs with that lamp in the corner kind of make it feel yeah very nice and relaxed. Yeah, and then through here is another bedroom, and that has its own private bathroom. And off of the back of the dining room, you get into another small hallway entryway, off of which is a large, I would say, living room because it's got a TV, bookcase, coffee table. Looks like a place for sitting and enjoying yourself. Hmm. And then just a door out to the backyard. Yep. And the backyard is enclosed in a really cool way by all of these evergreen trees so that the sims can't just wander off if they come out here to use the pool and the lounge or the outdoor lounge furniture they are here to stay it's very sheltered so then going upstairs let's start over here with the staircase on either side of the staircase you will see here's a small cozy room a couple of chairs chess table for relaxing over here, looks like we've got some sort of large closet, like storage storage closet, perhaps. Mm -hmm. That'll open out onto this long hallway here with more paintings. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a cross hallway or a T-shaped hallway because it joins one yeah. 
uh, and come, going yeah. laterally across and there's yeah. another one going all the way down exactly so it yeah goes into this one and then on either side of the hallway first you have a bathroom and over here a bedroom with an attached bathroom yes an attached bathroom of its own and off of the end of the hallway you then enter another large let's say this is an office because of the big desk over here on the right but it's got a lovely couch and coffee table formal tea set some books bookcases in the back yeah a lot of bookcases yeah i'd say this is a very a very big executive office yeah through here is a smaller study with this very large globe another chess table wardrobe that by the way has this office by the way has another bathroom there are a ton of bathrooms throughout this property so that's when you know you're in luxury when there are more bathrooms than you can count and over here is another bedroom and its own bathroom yeah yeah i think it's done the corridors really well it's annoying that you can't have rooms anything other than just plain rectangles or squares. Yeah. So, you know, I think we, we kind of get that he's joined them together. I think it works really well with those big open hallways. You kind of get a sense that, yep, it is just a big open space. I think the hallways get even cooler up here on the yeah. third floor. So the staircase opens out onto this entryway. Then on either side is another sort of gallery and this is why we thought this is very much of a palace because you've got these suits of armor and they're across from paintings as well just like downstairs yeah so and paintings of people so you can imagine that these are the the ancestors royal ancestors yeah, yeah. i think they're also haunted which uh, might also speak to it being a palace true true so from the stairwell entryway, you can also enter the this bedroom, which is at the very center of these two hallways, which I think is a really cool and creative layout. So once you enter that bedroom, that has its own closet with these wardrobes on either side and its own private bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, it says, I think it, it kind of looks a bit strange having a bedroom in the middle of this sort of four hallways. But it looks a bit strange to us, but I think that's because it's so original. I think if you saw this in real life, in yeah. a real house, it would look really, really good. It would just make a lot of sense. But yeah. it's just how we're used to seeing Sims. It kind of strikes, oh, what's that doing in the middle? Yeah. But I think it works really well. And I also like sort of very consistent use of lamps. These sort of very stylish themes of lamps and furniture definitely give it that air of luxury. Yeah. The decorating scheme throughout the house is very unified, which is definitely... Um, I just like that when you see a house where a lot of the rooms look very similar, it means that, you know, the house has an identity. Yeah, I think the windows, the carpet is very similar throughout. Yeah, it's very careful and lots of attention to detail, so I like that. So on the end of this back hallway here is another office because you can see it's got desk and a bookcase and a little couch over here that has its own bathroom again told you you're going to lose counts of these bathrooms and there's this bathroom here from the hallway and then over here is another bedroom i like how many of the bedrooms have got you know very expensive furniture there's no expense spared in furnishing these bedrooms yeah i think there, there might be seven bedrooms oh really have you I've been keeping no, I've, been, I've lost I've, count no i have i've been trying i think maybe six two on this floor i think maybe two on each floor hmm. Well, here we are on the bottom floor again. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Thanks so much to Carlos for inviting us. We are more than happy to do video tours and visits of any of our other neighbors' houses. Just check the video description below for instructions on how to friend our special Facebook account for that purpose. And otherwise, please subscribe to our channel because we've got more videos like this coming soon. Thanks for watching.